I want to say Jing. But that's life. Like you're gonna get hit with obstacles, you're gonna get hit with challenges, um, but you just have to keep going. You gotta keep going. And that's what I'm say for everybody, like I noticed that it's like everybody going through shit. Like I said, it's life. Everybody's gonna go through shit, but keep going, like don't stop. Never stop. You gotta keep going. That's a part of life, you know, you're supposed to evolve, you're never supposed to stay the same. You're always supposed to be evolving and growing as a human being. So like I said, you're going to be getting hit with challenges left and right. So yeah, just make sure you, you're taking that shit on the chin and you're keeping your crown steady. <laughs> you know, just don't drop your crown in the process, but keep moving forward. You feel me? That's it. That's it. Exactly. 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 So yeah, you're going to constantly face with challenges. But yeah. Bro, stay strong. Everybody stay strong. That's all I want to say. Like, and you don't owe anybody an explanation at all. I don't care if it's your friend, your best friend, your daddy, your mama. You don't owe anybody an explanation for any decision that you do choose to make in life or, or what, whatever you may have gone through. You don't owe anybody an explanation. Like I said, that's part of your journey. You know what I mean? Um... In the beginning of my journey, my whole life was publicized online. You know, that's not something I'm used to or something I'm even comfortable with. Um, but, you know, I'm like, okay, this is something new. I got I to deal with this shit. You know, I don't want my business online, but that's what I got to deal with. You know, and it, it actually worked in my favor in the end because, like I said, I got hit with another challenge. And the fact that my life was online and that y'all actually knew who I was and knew what I was experiencing, um, it saved me. It got me, like, it, it, it helped me you know, when I was in a really tight spot. But, yeah, like, I, like I'm saying, you know, you don't owe anybody an explanation. Nobody. Nothing. You don't owe them shit. You know, you owe, your, you owe it to yourself to just be honest with yourself and continue moving forward. Period. You know what I mean? It's that simple. It's that simple. Mm. I'm about to go grocery shopping now. <laughs> I just wanted to... I actually need some some meal ideas, honestly. <laughs> I'm tired of eating the same thing. I need some meal ideas. And, yeah. What's up? Yeah. So, yeah, give me some meal ideas. I know half y'all on here not vegan. And all that shit. Still eating cheese and all that. But y'all can still give me ideas. That's fine. Um, I'll just modify it. I'm tired. Like, I make shrimp alfredo all the time. It's one of my favorites. I'm a pasta head. Pasta head. I'm not I'm not vegan. Though. I'm not vegan. I eat, I eat meat. But I mean, like, I don't eat, like, beef and shit like that. So, I'm not fucking with TikTok. I, wish, I refuse to download TikTok or to even use TikTok. Like no, I'm I already have to get enough of the TikToks on Instagram. Like I don't need I don't need the app <laughs> to even see TikTok. And a Kai bowl, well, that's like a fruit bowl. I cannot get with the stuffed pasta shows. Like that's something I don't like. I just, like for me, like I'd be seeing like the little desserts online, and then like they bust them open, and it'd be like all cream and stuff. Like I can't eat stuff like that. That like it just texture. I need something with texture. <laughs> I need texture. Lion mane nuggets are bomb. I've never heard of that before. Never heard of no lion lion manes. Lions manes. <laughs> Stuffed bell peppers are lit. It's just like I put that on my um on my freaking grocery list every time, my meal list every t every like damn near every week. Stuffed bell peppers. And it's just like I will never eat it. <laughs> I, won't, I won't eat it. I won't. I made it like once out of the three months I've put it on my meal list. Kale salad. Yeah, I eat salads. Salads are always on the list. Always on the list. Homemade vegetable soup. Okay, yeah. So the stuff I eat, like normally pasta, huge pasta head, lasagna, that's pasta. Um, freaking salads. I'll like incorporate that into my meal or that'll just be like my lunch um wraps i love wraps um i said pasta 
<laughs> yeah, I pretty much just eat pasta wraps. <laughs> Let me see, pot pies. Mmm. That just brings back too many memories, like eating those dollar pot pies growing up. Coconut cream shrimp. Okay. Okay. We haven't done a soup in a while. Me and Nubi probably do soup. She likes soup a lot too. I'm a huge quesadilla fan. I haven't okay. We're gonna do a soup and a quesadilla. I have not had a quesadilla in a minute. Alright, boom. Soup. Quesadilla. The the soup that I normally eat is that um that potato soup. That creamy ass potato soup is so good. It's so good. I love it. Dollar pot pies. You should say they did. I'm telling you, the little dollar pot pies, the little dollar cans of ravioli used to smack after school. <laughs> they are terrible. They were always terrible, you know, but you, you grow up eating it, you think it's good. <laughs> but yeah, she vegan shepherd's pie. I think that's the thing, like with the layer of cornbread. I really don't like rice. Let me say that. I'm not, a, I don't like rice. Like, I'm a quinoa person. Don't really like rice like that. Like, I'm not a huge rice fan. Broccoli soup. I don't like broccoli. Smack can tell you from Cali. I'm not even from Cali. I just logged in there. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes me from Cali, but I was not raised in Cali. Vegan pizza, homemade. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we do the little we do the little day of pizzas with potato soup. Oh my god, I tried to put my friend on the little vegan day of pizzas. I was so disappointed. <laughs> I was like, I was embarrassed. It was, it just, I don't know if it was just that night, but they were not hitting. <laughs> What's up, Bree? Veggie stir fry with quinoa. That sounds good. That's something like we eat too. Like I saute a lot of veggies. Quinoa on the regular. Yeah. I'm a quinoa fan. Uh, my quinoa has not been hitting lately though. It's not been hitting. I've been struggling making that. So many vegan places in Cali. I love it here. I know. When I was there, I was like, damn, you can go. You could listen. It's dispensaries everywhere. I was at the beach and I could just walk. I walked right into a dispensary. I was I was like, what is this? Here's my ID. Like, it was just so simple. Like, in Cali. Everything is simple in Cali. It's just the fact I was only there for, like, a couple days. So, I wasn't even able to, like, get the full experience. Vegan gumbo. It wouldn't be vegan, but yes. Okay, gumbo. I want some some little turkey sausages or something hmm, some shrimps i might do another little seafood thing because that was i was no seafood i'm a seafood head i love seafood like fish stuff like that i need some stuffed sweet potatoes with coconut okay i'm a sweet we eat sweet potatoes damn near daily there's some sitting on the table right now like if we don't like yams we like sweet potatoes with coconut chickpeas. Chickpeas, we eat that on the regular with the little quinoa. Do you like pesto pasta? Not not really. Um, I, I think it's just because I make the, the sauce myself. And I'm like, you know, I've never had pesto pasta outside of what I made. And I'm not like a huge like avocado fan. So, mm -mm. maybe like if I get like a like you know one of the pre-made sauces and I can see like what it actually tastes like, I would like it more. But I don't really like it like that. Do a mukbang, <sighs> y'all. I'm a messy eater. I don't know if I can do no damn mukbang. <laughs> I get food in my eyebrows, on my nose. I eat real crazy. I don't want to see food, so it's hard for me. Yeah, vegan being vegan is cool. Like I feel like you know, majority of your diet should be plant based, but you definitely need like some seafood. Get those omega threes and their omega sixes. You can't get that from a plant based diet. I'm definitely going to send send me a recipe for creamy coconut shrimp. It's far. I'm sure it is. I'm Y'all, don't feel like you have to even, like, bro. It's made with basil, pine kernels. I have three meals. I have soup, quesadillas, and seafood. A seafood bang. Yeah. Okay. I need two more. Give me two more. Salmon. I love... I'm, 
salmon, shrimp, and crab are my main seafoods with asparagus. I don't know if I really eat asparagus anymore. I haven't ate, like, mother green, I eat green beans. <laughs> I eat green beans, kale, <laughs> arugula. Sadly, I've been eating a lot of air fryer foods. Listen, some days you need the air fryer, okay? You need to throw some little french fries, some little potatoes in there and just get it done, okay? Don't, don't even trip. Lunch, sometimes you need that quick lunch. You don't need to be thinking about it, cooking all day. Like, that's my thing, too. I stopped, like... I feel like I was constantly in the kitchen. Like, it was so annoying. Like, and that's why I used to fast so much, too, before. I used to fast, like, on a regular in the past. And I think, it, one, is because I just love the way it made me feel. And then, two, it was like I hated being in the kitchen for so long. I feel like I'm in the kitchen all day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Clean up after lunch. Clean up after breakfast. Clean up. It's like, I'm like, damn. Like, I'm constantly cooking and cleaning up. And it is just so annoying. I feel like majority of my day was spent in the kitchen. And I, and like, bro, I could not focus on anything else. And I couldn't get shit done because I'm cleaning up after what I just ate and what I just prepared. It was annoying. So, yeah, that was, like, majority reason why Nubia scratched my face. But that was, like, the majority of why I would always, like fast but now i have a baby so like fasting is a little difficult i can't be fasting with newbie <laughs> i'm gonna see her eating i'm gonna eat she breastfeeding no it's not going down for like from eight to exactly so what i did like to combat that is like i'll make us breakfast i get up early i won't get up at the same time as her anymore like i have to get up in the morning i'll make myself breakfast and then when she wakes up i'll make her like like, like smoothie or something but i'm making bre uh lunch when i when i wake up and that lunch is our dinner <laughs> i'm not making two separate it's rare that i'm gonna make another meal again it's really rare i'm not i'm not doing the little three different meals a day thing anymore okay you you get one you're gonna get a very nice meal okay and then we gonna have it's gonna be different for dinner like i'm gonna make lasagna we gonna eat lasagna for lunch, but guess what? When dinner come, we gonna have lasagna and salad. You add the salad in there, and it changes the me <laughs> it changes the meal. But no, I'm not I'm not cooking. I'm not cooking twenty four seven anymore. That's too much. I gotta have to do schoolwork. I gotta run errands. I I want some me time. Well, she's napping right now. I want my me time. I don't I don't want to be in the kitchen worried about cooking all day. No. <laughs> exactly I, that's what we eating left what's wrong with the leftover that is good for two days and by the second day we not eating it so enjoy why are you being wasteful what's wrong would you rather go to mcdonald's that's that's worse than leftovers okay don't hate don't do that soup <laughs> i got three meals soup quesadilla seafood give me give me two more two more Fried green beans. I don't even have to eat the green beans fried. I can just eat them. I, I, I'm, I'm a green bean head. Tastes like chicken fries. That's just because you're vegan. They taste like chicken fries. I'm going to be real. Once you're not vegan anymore and then you try some vegan shit, you're like, this don't taste <laughs> This don't taste the same. <laughs> and that's why I be telling people, like, I'm like, you can't, like, I wouldn't even expect, like, a meat eater or somebody that is a meat eater to, like, transition into, like, um... And to like beyond me, I wouldn't even recommend that for somebody that's eating meat on a regular. Like telling them like, oh, beyond meat tastes just like regular meat. Oh, this tastes just like chicken. No, it don't. No, it don't. It tastes like it tastes like that for people that have been <laughs> off of that diet and not like you know what I mean. They get they tasting like oh, the texture is the same. It does not taste the same. I'm be real. Beyond me, I know I cannot stand Beyond me anymore. The taste is just too strong for me. Like at first, like I was in love with Beyond me. I'm like, yo, twenty years of protein. Like, oh my god, this shit is lit. And now I'm like, uh, uh, no, Beyond. The taste is mad strong. You're not even supposed to fry Beyond me. You're supposed to bake it. Like it's just impossible over Beyond me. Okay, yeah, I think Impossible Meat tastes better. The taste is still strong. It's just, I just didn't like the added ingredients in Impossible Meat. That's why I chose Beyond Meat over it. But 
yeah impossibles taste better definitely catfish i'm trying to lay off the fried food now i need to uh i don't need to be doing all the fried food i'm trying to chill on the fried food y'all i'm gonna do salad salad newbie can't newbie is not gonna we can do nachos that day too because i'll do a salad and nachos because newbie is not gonna eat she can't eat salad That'd be the thing, too. Like, some meals I want to eat make I'm like, oh, she can't eat it. Damn. And just make it. That's fine. I'm a berry head. Like, I eat a lot of strawberries. Like, strawberry salads. Throw some raspberries in there with some walnuts. Yeah. I think this is good. I'm going to do four meals for now. Yeah, I'm going to do four meals for now. And then I'll go from there. Keep it simple. I do not like cauliflower. I don't even like broccoli. There's no way I'm gonna eat cauliflower. We tried freaking to do like the wings, like the the chicken wings with broccoli or in cauliflower, and I was just repulsed. I was like, this shit is nasty. Salmon dinner. How did I not think of that? I eat say I mean, cause it's like I eat salmon every week, so I'll be getting. T- I'll be. T- I'm like tired of eating salmon, and then I try and keep it like not eat meat like all week (laughs) and like i try and do like two days where i'll eat like fish out of the week and then keep the rest plant-based um because you you know you don't you want your you want your shit flowing you want your poop flowing you don't need it to be all clogged up what's up is you don't need it all clogged up just do wild not farm raised yeah yeah wild of course i go to um whole foods i do the majority of my shopping at whole foods like yeah (laughs) <laughs> thanks of course but i already have okay yeah we can do salmon because i did seafood one day and then the rest of these are plant-based so i'll do a seafood mong bong, and salmon and then salad and then the rest is like beans and rice rice quinoa only they flour is a piece of crust I'll switch to plant-based meat. It was easy for me. Yeah, and that's good. I feel like it's a majority of people. I, like, I'm like. i sure it's easy to switch to the meat, but I mean as far as the taste, don't expect it to taste the same. Do not expect it to taste the same. Turkey, meatloaf, potatoes. You what, mama? We finna see. Potatoes, yeah, we do potatoes like damn near almost sweet potatoes like for lunch. A lot of times I'll roast some potatoes for breakfast. Yeah, it's cold. It's getting warm though. It's supposed to be 60 degrees at the end of this week. And I'm so excited. We miss the sun. Like the sun is shining right now. It's been shining the past couple days, except for yesterday. And I just think that's because I was so emotional that I made it misty and cloudy. (laughs) Yes. Yes. That powerful goddamn made the sun go away for a day. Do you put cabbage in your veggie soup? I don't know. Because I don't really do like brothy soups. It's rare that I'll do like a brothy soup. And they're more like creamy soups. I do a lot of creamy soups. What's up, Azine? You were in my dream last night. You, Shaka. Um, it was some other chick. I didn't know. I didn't know her. But we were in a dream and we went to this restaurant. It was crazy. It was crazy. Full moon and Virgo kicking my Capricorn ass because you need to let go and you suppressing a lot of shit and the full moon is trying to bring it out. Oh, that go my baby. Come here, Mookie. Come here, Moo. What? This is my notebook. This is my calendar. Don't even worry about it. I got it. I got it, mama. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. We do your hair today. Her hair is getting so long. Our hair is the same length. You go to your nose. Shrinkage is a motherfucker though. Are your earrings dragonflies? Yeah, they are dragonflies. I love them. They're so cute. I got these and the little scarab beetles. And I was just in love with them. I saw these first and I just fell in love. I was like, oh, I need them now. Took myself shopping. 
And we're going to take Nubia shopping this week. I'm going to take her into the store. Like, normally I just pick out all her stuff. You want the chessboard? Normally I pick out all her clothes and stuff. But this week, like, I want her to go into the store and pick out what she wants to wear. Because, like, she's so picky. Like, she's, like me, I'm a very simple woman. Like, I am I can do jeans and t-shirt. Her, I put her on some jeans and a t-shirt. And she looking at me like, my, I can't show my fit off. Like, I, how am going to show auntie this outfit? Like, she don't, she don't be feeling it. She, she so yeah i'm gonna let her pick out her outfits i got her some cute turbans because she likes to wrap her hair like me she always taking um taking my little um my head wraps and stuff and trying to wrap her hair but yeah so i got her these little turbans they're so cute but i got her like a couple different colors got her some turbans and yeah i'm gonna take her shopping this week let her pick her some stuff out i'll look up the recipe Jackfruit is delicious as fruit alone, and when it is done as me, I've never had jackfruit. It just, it just does not look appealing to me. I don't know why. Our hair wrapped the same today. That's what's up. Great minds think alike. But yeah, all right. I got my meal ideas. I wanted to say that. I just want to tell everybody stay encouraged too. Like stay, mother stop letting people bring you down, and that comes from oversharing. Stop putting people in your business. Don't. You do not have to tell. you. Like I said, you don't owe anybody an explanation. You do not have to tell people the ins and out of your life. It is not mandatory. It is not. Unless you, you know, you want to. You can. But ain't no way. Like, I learned my lesson. You, you talk about what you want to talk about. A lot of people don't mean you any good anyway. They don't. A lot of people just want to know some information about you so they can talk about you. So they can, they, it makes them feel better about themselves when you go through shit. So don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> stop telling people your business. Just stop. They, a lot of times when you're telling people your business too, it's fucking up your own manifestation. Stop. <laughs> like I'm telling you, stop. And, 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 and some people do it subconsciously. They're not even intentionally trying to 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 stop your grind stop your hustle but they're they're hating on you subconsciously they don't like you subconsciously they're jealous of you and they don't even recognize it themselves and listen you want milk you just had milk that's why you went to sleep what do you mean yeah social media make make it worse and that's what i'm saying like people get on social media and that's what i mean getting on social media and thinking that you have to share everything about your life you don't have to it's not mandatory look at you why are you fussing you ready to go eat? Eat, eat yeah i know hold on okay go ahead i'll meet you there but yeah go ahead Mo. But yeah, I'm finna run these errands. But yeah, like I'm saying, I was just saying, um, it's not, you don't have to do that. Oh, 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 what's wrong? I love to overshare without thinking. I'm learning trust. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Like, that's my thing. Like, I don't, I don't trust a lot of people. Oh, 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 what's wrong? Yeah, you just woke up and you're ready to eat again. You're having a growth spurt, huh? Yeah, you growing new teeth. Can you say teeth instead of milk? Say teeth. <laughs> I, uh, I'm finna head out. Oh, hold up. Who is this? Who is this? I'm not even answering that question. What the hell? I'm just such an open person. I never want to be misunderstood. And that was my thing. Like, I felt like because I'm so honest and upfront about my feelings, I expect that from everybody else. And you, I, I, I just learned that that's not the case. <laughs> like, you can be upfront and raw about... Do your hair? Mm. You want ponytails or you want twists? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Which one you want? You do ponytails and twists and then put your turban on? How about both? Yeah? 
But yeah, I had to learn that, like, no matter how upfront or honest you are about your own feelings, it does not make it make everybody else be honest. Like, nah, it is it's not. Like, I thought that I'd be like, you sure? You sure that's how you feel? Well, this is how I feel, woo, 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 woo. And they be like, no, no. But you be still feeling the resentment and shit? Like, <laughs> no, no. Nah. And that's when you just got to trust yourself and, like, know when. <laughs> know when to trust yourself and walk away. Um. Yeah. She sees the emoji comments. Oh, yeah. You drawing? What? You drawing? You love to draw. Here. You drawing on my notes? That's fine. You can draw on these. I'm done with these. I'm a whole Scorpio. Listen. I had to acknowledge my Scorpio. Like, at first... I mean, I feel like I always acknowledge my Scorpio. But I have... Four major placements in fucking Scorpio. And my son is one of them. Like, um, my Capricorn, eighth house. But I didn't really realize. I always thought my son was in the seventh house until I chose, um, I used a different housing system. And it turns out my, my seventh house was actually on the cusp of the eighth house, which I always felt shit just makes sense. It makes more sense now. Yeah. It's funny because me and Nubia's hair is the same length now. Like, I think that's why I had to cut my hair so many damn times. Tip your nose. Your nose. Can I dig in your nose? Can I get your booger? Can I get your boogers? No? Are you going to let me get them now? Okay. You read my chart before. I think, and you had the husband now was like a Sagittarius. I can't tell. I can't. I don't know. It may or may not be you. <laughs> it may or may not be you. But you. Yeah. Thank you for the meal ideas. Um, stay encouraged. Stay strong. Stop telling people your business. Don't. Don't do it. I mean, unless you want to. <laughs> but... You don't have to. You don't owe anybody an explanation. None of that. That's private. I'm a That's lit. <laughs> oh my god. I know a Leo Sun Scorpio Moon. Y'all are y'all. That don't matter if it's Leo Sun Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Sun Leo Moon. Y'all are very intense, and you need to acknowledge your sexual demons. Okay, I don't even want to say sexual demons. Let's just say your animalistic side. <laughs> That's like, and y'all y'all have a very intense energy. It's so difficult for me to do that reading. Like readings for like, with energies like that. Because it's like, that, when it comes to like to Scorpio, doing readings for Scorpios. My last reading for Scorpios has been more, um, a way better. Especially, I feel like since it's, I acknowledge my own Scorpio side. But yeah, Scorpio, that Scorpio-Leo combination, it's an extremely intense. And you can just like, you can feel like, you, you know, it's a it's an energetic reading as well. But the energy on y'all, so fucking intense. Like, you, it's, it's overwhelming. Overwhelming. This is not lipstick. It's lip gloss. <laughs> and it's, it's like, um, it's one of my favorite shades. <laughs> huh? Okay, I'm done now. I'm done now. We finna go eat. I got the meals, right? You didn't want to keep eating spaghetti and Alfredo. You tired of that, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We did it. We did it. All right. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I'm out, y'all. Bye. <laughs>